One way to stay young and to hold back the aging process is to avoid excessive exposure to stress. Now, stress is part of everyday life, and some stress is actually good for you. You know, let's face it, life would be pretty bland without some stress to add a bit of spice. But when things get out of hand, excessive stress can have profound effects on both your physical and psychological well being. If all isn't right on the inside, that's often reflected on the outside. And in many cases, that causes you to look older than you really are. And there are two ways of coping with excessive stress. First of all, you can deal with the stress and find ways of overcoming it, or better still, avoid it altogether. Now let's look at how you can deal with the stress. And the best way to deal with stress is just to relax. Now, Relaxation is different for different people. For some people, it might mean following a hobby, or it might mean playing sport or watching their favorite team. It might mean taking a vacation or a short break, or it might mean just putting some distance between you and the stressful situation. Another way of dealing with stress is through hypnosis. Now, I can personally attest to the fact that this does work.、Uh, some years ago, I was under a lot of stress. I had a job that I hated, working for someone who absolutely detested me and was desperately trying to get me fired at every opportunity.、Uh, I split up with my girlfriend.、Uh, We've been going out for a couple of years, but it was quite obvious that our relationship had pretty much run its course. And although. I suppose it was amicable as breakups go. It was still very unpleasant and very stressful. And then, on top of all that, I was involved in a car crash.、Uh, a guy ran a red light and crashed into the side of my car and damaged it, not enough to make it a total write off, but enough to make it undrivable. And it turned out that he had no insurance, he wasn't in the country legally. Uh, the address he gave me was one that he'd moved away from a couple of years ago. And the paint and body shop that I took the car to was trying to rip me off. And it was all very, very stressful. And I started to get、um, panic attacks. I was not sleeping very well. And some guy came to my work and didn't know my name and was asking for me and said he was a tall guy, 30 something. And I was 22 at the time, so that didn't go down too well either. So I decided to undergo some hypnotherapy because I'd read about it in a magazine. And I found a hypnotherapist. Actually, I found her out of the Yellow Pages, and her office was about a five minute walk from where I worked. And I had a couple of sessions with this hypnotherapist. And she put me into a deep, relaxing, Hypnotic trance. It was the most deep, relaxing feeling I've ever felt. And she gave a couple of、um, post hypnotic suggestions, one of which was a trigger word. And she said, every time you say this word to yourself, you'll feel as relaxed as you are now. And it worked. And she recorded the session so I could play them back every day to reinforce the post hypnotic suggestions. I used to listen to them last thing at night before I went to bed so that I would be nice and relaxed so I could get a decent night's sleep and so on. And it really, really helped. And、um, I highly recommend it. Now, of course, the best way to avoid stress is just to avoid stressful situations in the first place. And this isn't always possible, but there are some things that you can do to minimize the situations that cause you the stress. So think about what is causing you to be stressed and then devise ways of dealing with them. Now, let's take workplace stress, for example. You know, lots of people feel very stressed at work. And In my own case, from when I was going through a very stressful time, I found that the only way to actually deal with this stress was to basically find another job because it was quite clear that my boss hated my guts and he was going to get me fired sooner or later. So I might as well leave and find another job, which I did. And、um, my stress levels went down quite considerably. 
And if you have a job, then again, discussing the situation with your superiors is probably the best thing to do. In my case, it wouldn't have made any difference, but uh, in other cases, it can help. Something else you can do is to turn off your work cell phone out of hours so you're not getting work calls uh, when you're on your own time. And likewise, not checking work emails when you're at home. And also, socializing with people from outside your work can be helpful because when you socialize with people from your work, what do you talk about? Work. So when you socialize with people from outside of your work, then you're going to talk about something different and it's going to take your mind off work and it's not going to be quite so stressful. Also, if you find getting to and from your workplace is very stressful, then you might want to change your route. You might want to drive a different route. You might want to uh, take public transport instead of driving or vice versa, because sometimes actually just getting to your work can be very stressful. And finally, if nothing else is going to work, then you have to do what I did, which is to change jobs or change careers if necessary to find something that is actually much less stressful. Now, of course, if you're an entrepreneur, then your stress levels can be almost off the scale compared to people who have a job. So what you need to do to try and keep the stress levels down is first of all, to keep regular hours. Now, I know when you're an entrepreneur, you can keep thinking about your business all the time, but you want to make sure that you keep regular hours, that you're only available to clients during regular office hours, and that you only work during office hours, and that you actually do take some time off. You want to have a dedicated place to work from. Now, this could be a room in your home if you have a home office. Um, if you have you know, not a lot of space at home, then just have somewhere that's a dedicated place in your living room to work from. You know, Get an old-fashioned roll-top desk that you can shut and uh, basically separate you from your work physically from time to time. You should... Obviously, take regular breaks, you should take regular vacations, you should take time off. And when you're not involved in running your business, you should make sure, like when you have a job, that uh, your cell phone is turned off, that you're not checking your emails and so on, so that you do actually get some time away from your work. And you should outsource tasks that you find stressful. I know a lot of people find doing the books to be very stressful. So hire a bookkeeper or an accountant to do that for you and of course that frees up more time anyway for you to do things that you enjoy and for you to actually work on your business and also you want to network with other people in your industry and this is very important because any problems that you're facing that are making you stressed are also going to be problems that other people in your industry are facing so you when you talk to people in your industry and you share your problems then there's a good chance that someone is going to say oh well that happened to me and i did such and such and that's going to solve the problem and you're not going to be stressed about it and there are a couple of ways you can do this you can do this in person or you can do it via a discussion forum and there are lots and lots of them uh, on the internet if you just do a search for your industry followed by forum you're bound to find quite a few and once you've uh, spent some time on there and you've got to know the other people on the forum uh, it can be very useful and very very helpful and of course it can help you to avoid a lot of the stress in your life for more free educational content visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.